Green Lantern is basically a glorified space cop, with Earth being his sector to patrol and protect from every intergalactic threat that comes near. So you know that when Silver Surfer shows up, scouting out potential planets for his master Galactus, you just know that Hal has to get involved. You just know they're going to have to fight. And so, who's going to win that fight? Who's going to come out on top here in the battle arena? Green Lantern or Silver Surfer? Let's get into it. But before we get into it, make sure you go subscribe. Only 20% of y'all are subscribed, so make sure you go change that, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Help us out a ton, and plus, you get to see awesome videos every single day. And if you already are subscribed, well, y'all are amazing. Y'all are just crushing life, so just keep on killing it. Now, let's get it. Now, let me tell you, well, both of these guys are absolutely no joke. This isn't going to be an easy fight for either of them. I mean, it's literally the power cosmic versus willpower itself. This isn't going to be a simple showdown. In fact, it might be one of the hardest fights that either of them have ever been in. Seriously. I mean, just look how they stack up physically. Silver Surfer has had his fair share of strength showings, like when he straight up just flexed his way out of a literal planet or ended up throwing a whole moon at Galactus's head. Surfer is even able to straight up overpower the Hulk. Like for real, this guy is scary strong. I mean, you gotta be when you're literally destroying planets with a headbutt. But on the other end, well, Green Lantern has always been able to pack quite a punch with his constructs. Even Superman himself admits that much, and he's been able to absolutely body some Kryptonians before too, even beating General Zod all up and down while they were under two yellow suns, so Zod would have been even more powerful than usual. He's been able to just beat the crap out of Mongol before. Seriously, I don't think Hal likes Mongol too much, and GL also has no problem with holding back. They'll even punch your jaw clean off, which just, ow. Green Lantern has been able to help stop planets from crashing into Earth and sending them flying back into deep space. He's put the moon back in its proper place. He's even helped to pull the Earth multiple times over. When Green Lantern is making constructs, you know they're no joke. So yeah, they're both crazy strong. They're also both crazy tough. Like, Green Lantern's constructs might straight up be some of the most powerful things in the whole universe. It's insanely hard to get through these things. Not impossible, just really, really difficult. I mean, one time Green Lantern created a full planetary shield around the entire Earth. A shield that was holding back a quarter million Kryptonians, and that shield actually held up. That's some genuinely insane levels of willpower. He's been hit with moon-shattering blasts several times over, kept on fighting each and every time. He's taken attacks from Lobo, from Black Adam, from Cyborg Superman, from Superboy Prime, from Superman, from Wonder Woman, from Darkseid, from all sorts of heavy hitters. Hal has even survived supernovas a few times, done it kinda casually too. But Silver Surfer? Holy crap, Silver Surfer? He's been able to take attacks from Hulk absolutely no problem. Even the very strongest punches that Hulk can throw his way. Thor actually ended up bleeding after headbutting Surfer. Those are two of the strongest guys in all of Marvel. Surfer will just casually take dips inside of stars. He'll surf exploding supernovas just for fun. He's survived blasts from Ego, which were destroying planets and moons. Surfer can take just about anything. And I mean, just about anything. A blast from the collected Infinity Gauntlet. All six Infinity Gems that was killing Galactus. A clash between Thanos and abstract beings that was straight up destroying whole solar systems. He's even survived the Big Bang, the destruction of one universe, and the creation of another, and acted like it was, well, basically nothing. Just another Tuesday. 
Then there's the speed that these guys are packing. And GL is pretty darn fast. I mean, Hal is an ace test pilot. You know he's got a thing for speed. In fact, sometimes he'll push himself to go so fast that his constructs begin nearly falling apart, then go even faster than that. He's almost creating speed force singularities he's going so fast. His speed can fold space, traveling across the cosmos and all the way across the universe just a matter of moments. And all this can definitely translate into a fight as well. I mean, Green Lantern has captured Zoom before and tied him up. When just literal moments before, Zoom was outspeeding Wonder Woman and making Superman look like an absolute statue. Hal was the guy who ended up getting him. But Surfer, well, he's kind of known for his speed too. He's able to fly way faster than the speed of light like traveling across whole galaxies and universes in seconds, millions of light years in a second, just so, so, so fast. Microsecond reaction times, nanosecond reaction times. The dude is lightning quick. He's able to understand information that would take a whole millennia to communicate, understand it all within a millisecond. Then one time, even while traveling at Faster than light speeds, Surfer was still quick enough to perceive and process through billions of stars as he was zipping past them, even noticing the slightest changes in the stars and their positions on the map. Silver Surfer is almost scary fast. But I think this fight is really about the power cosmic versus the power ring. The Green Lantern Ring is one of the most powerful weapons in the entire universe, no doubt. And Hal is one of the absolute best at using it. I mean, he can create constructs that are straight up planetary in scale. That's wild. He's able to compress a miniature star. He can manipulate energy and matter on an absolutely astronomical scale. One time, he was even able to shrink the Earth itself down to the point where a nucleus is literally the size of the sun. He can create absolutely anything he can imagine. And GL can imagine a whole heck of a lot. He can teleport, he can turn invisible, he can turn intangible. And here's the thing, Hal Jordan might be the greatest Green Lantern of all time. He might have the strongest willpower in the entire galaxy. He's been able to use his willpower to actually overpower his own lantern ring before, killing Krona, which means that he was overriding the ring's programming to not be able to kill Guardians. And then another time, while well, GL was actually able to create his own power ring, just straight up out of his own willpower, sending waves and echoes across the emotional spectrum. Before that, only the Guardians of the Universe have been able to do something similar. He was, quite literally, becoming willpower itself. Like he is a nexus of willpower, potentially even stronger and more powerful than the central power battery. And then Green Lantern fought against Parallax Sinestro, who had the combined power of all the Yellow Lanterns. And Hal was able to become the embodiment of willpower and beat up on Sinestro and even destroy World World in the process. Basically, Green Lantern straight up soloed a whole Lantern Corps all by himself, all by his lonesome. But the power cosmic? Well, that's some crazy power too. And now, Surfer is even more power cosmic than before. He's got a share of the power cosmic that almost puts him on par with Galactus. He's absolutely bodied Better A Bill. No mercy, no apologies. He's fought against Null, the god of the symbiotes, who can kill Celestials. And was straight up casually creating stars, just throwing them at Null throughout the fight. He fought against Griever, someone who was going to destroy the universe, and held her off for 16 minutes. He held off the destruction of the universe for 16 whole minutes. 
He's survived the Big Bang, the destruction of one universe and the birth of another. At one time, he even absorbed enough energy to destroy two whole universes. So, end of the day, who's winning here? Who's coming out on top? Well, I think it's gotta be Silver Surfer. Now, this isn't an easy fight by any means for either one of them. Surfer isn't going to necessarily be like one-shotting here. You gotta put some respect on Hal's name. But I do think Surfer ends up taking it. Green Lantern and the Power Ring is a whole lot. But Silver Surfer and the Power Cosmic? Well, yeah, he takes it. Silver Surfer wins.